This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can use GIMP to create this heartbeat sort of design out of any photograph you'd like. And if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out the GIMP series, which is a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the major tools and features in GIMP and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you'd like to check that out. So to get us started here in GIMP, as you can see I have my photograph open that I'd like to trace. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'll go to Edit, Copy Visible, and then I'm going to create a new document. So I'll go to File, New, and I want to size this at 1280 by 1280 pixels. Go ahead and click OK, and now I want to paste that image in there as a new layer. So I'll go to Edit, Paste As, New Layer. And then I'll just zoom in on this area over here. I'm going to hold control and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in. And I want to place a horizontal guide right in the area where I'd like the baseline of the heartbeat to be. So I'm going to bring the cursor up here to this little, uh, I guess you can call this a ruler, these little incremental measurements up here at the top of the screen. And I'll click and drag to pull down a guide. And I'm going to place it right about where I'd like the baseline of the heartbeat to be, which is right above the, uh, the jawline of the dog here. And next I'll just go to View. Make sure you have Snap to Guides enabled. I think that's enabled by default, but I would just double check that to make sure. And then after that, we're gonna create a new layer. So I'll click on the button that says Create a New Layer and add it to the image. Click OK. And now I'm going to grab the Paths tool, which is over here, or you could press B on the keyboard. And let me zoom in on this a little more. If you need to move your page around, you could press down your mouse wheel and move the mouse. I'm gonna click on this line right here to create a point and put a point there. And then I'm going to create another point on this line at the left edge of the subject here. And it's going to create a line between those two points. It may be difficult to see uh, in this video screen, but there is a line there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and, well, actually first, where it says polygonal, make sure you have that selected. And now I'm just going to go through and trace a line going around the subject here by clicking and creating points, as you see here. And what I would recommend doing as you do this is that you create as few points as necessary. You want to keep this design as simple as possible. If you get if you create too many points and get carried away with uh, all these different points, it's going to be it's going to be difficult for the design to work. The maybe because we're going to create a line out of this tracing and sometimes when it's too intricate, there's too many details, it doesn't really work well. So I would recommend trying to keep this as simple as possible. Don't worry about don't worry about it being a perfect exact tracing. It doesn't have to be. Uh, you'll see that even if you trace something roughly after you zoom out, you'll see it still looks pretty recognizable. So I'm going to go through here and finish up my tracing. And right before I get back to the line here, I'm just going to make sure that I close this out on the horizontal guide right about there because, again, that's where, the, that's where the baseline of the heartbeat is. And then I'll create one more line coming out maybe over here to the right on that same horizontal plane. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the visibility of the photograph because we don't need that anymore. So this center layer right here where the photograph is depicted, I'm going to click that eyeball to turn off the visibility. And then I'll come back up here to my new layer and I'll go to Edit, Stroke Path. And from these settings you want to use, uh, I went with a line width of 10 pixels. I'm going to go with to Line Style over here to get these options and we want Cap Style and Join Style. We want both of these with rounded selected. So right here is the middle option round and this is the middle option round. And then dash preset, uh, we don't want any dashed lines so I'm just going to choose line. And then go ahead and click stroke. Yeah, go ahead and click stroke and there you go, you'll have a line created from that tracing. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to click on the move tool just to get rid of those points, to get rid of the visibility of them. And then I'll go to layer, crop to content. And that's going to make that layer the size of this drawing here. And what I will do next is I'm going to draw the actual the actual heartbeat lines on either side here. I'm just going to create them separately. So I'm going to create a new layer again. Go ahead and click OK. And then again, I'll go back to the Paths tool. Let me zoom in on this area over here. Click to create a point on the line. Create another one. And then bring this one up here, this one down there, and then this one up here. And then back to the baseline, and then over to the right a little bit. And now what you can do is you can just manually adjust these lines so that they look like they're about equal. They don't have to be exactly equal, but somewhere uh, somewhere thereabouts is pretty good. And again, once I've done that, I'll go to Edit, Stroke Path. We want to use the same presets we were just working with, so just go ahead and click Stroke. I'm going to click the Move tool to get rid of those nodes on the screen there, and I'll go to Layer, Crop to Content. 
and I'm just going to grab, well, actually, I already have the move tool selected. With the move tool, I'm just going to take this line and bring it over to the right here, but I'm going to hold control on the keyboard so it locks it onto the horizontal axis like that. So I'll just bring this over here like that. And I want to create two more of them on the right side of this uh, the dog's head here. So I'm going to duplicate this layer, this button right here where it says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. Go ahead and click on that. And then we can just take this one and move this over here like that. Again, we're holding control so it locks it onto the horizontal axis. And then I'll do that one more time, create one more copy of that, and then just bring this over here. Maybe I could bring this one over a little bit. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And there we go. I'd say that looks pretty good right there. So now that that's done, we can get rid of the horizontal guide. I'm going to go to View, and where it says Show Guides, I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to deselect that, and the guide will be off the screen. And then I want to go to Image and click on Crop to Content. And it's going to scale down the image so that it is the size of our design here. And I want to get rid of the background. So I'm going to click on the background layer, right click that, go to Add Alpha Channel, and then just toggle off the visibility of it. And there you go. You have your heartbeat design. And what you can do now is you can go to File, Export, and you can export this as a .png image and it will have a transparent background as you see here on the screen. Now if you want to change the color of this design, I'll show you how to do that now. I'm going to click on this top layer. I'm going to right click that and go to Merge Down. And then do that again here, Merge Down, right click, Merge Down, and then one more time, Merge Down. We want all of those layers merged together like that. And it, let's say if you, want to, if you want to make the color white, all you have to do is go to Colors and Invert, and now the pattern, or the design rather, is a white color. But if you want to make it another color, what you can do is you can right click it and go to Alpha to Selection, and then turn off the visibility of that layer, create a new layer on top of it, and then come up here to this color picker and choose whatever color you'd like it to be. So like, let's say you want it to be blue, something like that. Go ahead and click OK, and then go to Edit, Fill with foreground color. And then you can go to Select None. And there you go. You now have a blue design. Maybe I'll turn on the background so you can see it. You now have the blue design that you can export and use however you'd like. You can up upload this to t-shirt sites or have it printed or place it on a website or whatever you want to do. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating these simple heartbeat designs using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.